right, so you know, London and New York City are basically completely wired with a closed circuit uh, television for surveillance. But having you know been attacked in the past by terrorists, is there a case do you think for for full time unlimited surveillance? Yeah, well, I think it's it's definitely an ongoing conversation, and depending on where you live. Uh, the level to which that becomes part of the everyday um, uh, is different. You know, where I live in Melbourne, we don't have anywhere near as many, obviously, as somewhere like London. And it seems like there's less of them here in New York, correct me if I'm wrong, than, than London, depending on where you are. Uh, but I guess on the one hand, we also, you know, we want our civil liberties, but we also expect to be safe. So it's, it's obviously a balance and an always ongoing discussion. I'm um, a big fan of Stephen Knight's work. You know, he wrote the screenplay for this film, and one of the big pressing themes is the idea of hidden evidence, that the government has secret evidence that they can't show to the public, but is, is dire to keeping a man free or not. Do you think there's ever a case for that, for the government to hold stuff back from the public? Oh, well, obviously there is. I mean, there are obviously plenty of instances where, where we're made safer by those tools being put in place. Um, but at the same time, it's can we blindly trust governments in, in those positions all the time? I don't know, I mean, I don't have the answer to that. And I guess, I guess it's for, um, for people to, to argue and, and decide, really. And like I say, it's always gonna be an ongoing conversation. You know, this is a very taut film. You know, there's a lot of sharp dialogue, a lot of dramatic scenes. You know, speaking of the past, you're a pretty funny guy. You're, you know, a good send-up guy. What do you do to keep yourself in good humor on a movie like this? Uh, you, you just hope you end up with good co-stars. So. In this case, it's actually funny because a lot of times when you're working on really serious, tense films, they're the most fun to work on because there's more mucking around in between takes. But I don't know why, maybe it's just a natural release valve for the people working on it. But John Crowley, our director, is hilarious, and so is Rebecca Hall, actually. So we had a pretty good time making the film, even though it's, uh, it's obviously a drama and you know, very serious and, and tense. But uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't like that to make it all. You know, as an actor, what do you like doing more? I mean, you've done comedy, you've done action here, you're, you're very dramatic. What to you is the best meat on the bone as an actor? It's, it's, it's the best thing on the pile. So I don't, I don't know what it's gonna be tomorrow. I haven't read it yet, you know, it's just whatever I respond to. And um, I, like, I don't like banking films up. I always wait until I finish one, until I choose what to do next. I like to sort of stay in the moment and respond to the material, you know, just, and be open. So uh, luckily, it means you know being able to find material like this. All right, all right. Last question. Um, Closed Circuit has a lot of pressing themes, you know, surveillance, evidence with the NSA and Snowden and all this stuff. You know, what would you want audiences to take away? What do you want them to, to really understand from this movie as an actor? Well, I hope it contributes to the dialogue, and hope it makes people um, think about the role of of um, government, the role of the legal system, processes in in court. Uh, we obviously focus on a, on a particular aspect of the British legal system and their closed sessions and the role of the special advocate, particularly in terrorism trials. Um, so uh, the movie treats all that stuff very, very seriously. And, and it's, it's educational in that sense because I think it really uh, shows people how much information can be kept from them when those kind of provisions are made within the legal system.